installment in the quest of the red tail um here's our current uh systems here's our crew uh oh yeah that's right we just rescued maxwell from the slavers um and we were preparing to jump I think for the uh, uh, sort of narrative fun of it, I like the idea of going to the Rebel Stronghold right before the grand finale. We have to push through this fortified sector. So let's hop down to the Rebel Stronghold. Maybe a somewhat foolish idea, but um, we'll see. This sector was hit hard by the rebellion. The many alien settlements and stations located here are now watched over by almost an equal number of rebel bases, heavy-handedly keeping the peace. Well, we're gonna need the help of the distraction buoys to keep the rebel fleet off our tail as we navigate these uh, dangerous parts. Um. Okay, so that's not a dead end, because we can cross over here. And then this exit can be reached by any of these guys. So, maybe we can uh, travel down here, pop over here, up around these beacons, and then sweep down across here. We'll see how it goes. There is not much of interest nearby. A small sun in the distance with a few orbiting planets in nearby space provide little of interest. Let's continue on. We do need to get to a, uh, a store and repair our ship before we leave the sector, ideally. A small shuttle appears on the local radar. Turns out it's a rebel automated scout. The ship starts to, uh oh, the ship starts to power up its FTL drive. If it gets away, it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. So that's not great. Um, we'll undo that mind control. And then we're gonna really need to try to hit these engines quick. So I think we'll need to just focus fire on it. Uh-oh. Not great. Not great for us. Let's fire another volley. The FTL is still charging. That's not good. That's really not good. And Vincent has turned against us, sadly. Oh man, yeah, this is gonna get away. I think we need to bite the bullet here and just abandon this sector. like a military vessel. We're trying to get back to our homes alive. I'm an engineer by trade and could try to improve your reactor if you have any extra supplies. For two fuel, two missiles, and two drone parts, that's a great deal. And we've received a reactor upgrade. Um, we also have two mantises who uh, have finally gotten over their differences and stopped fighting. that taken care of, we can continue hopping along, try to find a store. I think that needs to be top priority. 
you are immediately hailed by a mobile docking platform upon arrival. Welcome to Uncle Joe's Fix-It Shop. Need to tune up or we got you covered. Well, unfortunately we don't have much scrap, but let's inquire about their specialty. They offer to upgrade your oxygen system in exchange for some scrap. <laughs> That's so sad. Uh, we're only one scrap off. Oh, that would have been a great deal. Um, not that uh, our oxygen system was particularly critical, but or at least to get upgraded. But the nice thing about having an upgrade is that uh, if that system takes damage, it won't be immediately destroyed because the upgrade slot will sort of absorb the damage first. So we'll thank them, but prepare to move on. Keep on trying to find a store. A Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Let's send a party. Uh, you find a secret Federation outpost, but it appears the rebels have found it before you. The place is empty and faint bloodstains can be seen in the living quarters. You find the encrypted signal emitter and shut it off before leaving. Uh, a very dark encounter, but such is the fate of uh, people who serve the Federation caught in this uh, rebel stronghold of a sector. Nothing for it but to move on. Um, let's go up here. A small rebel research station overlooks a pulsating star. Before you can react, a rebel ship spots you and moves into attack. So this pulsar is going to disrupt the systems. Uh, so I'm just going to teleport aboard our ship. Um, let's turn this gun person. Get Big B in there to help fight. fire on their weaponry. Oh man, we lost our weapons with that too, huh? That's rough. Okay, so we need to get our O2 repaired quick. Uh, let's send Big B to go do that and Vincent. They're not doing mission critical jobs right now. guns up again, quick. And thankfully, uh, power has been restored to them. Now, their ship is having a pretty rough time right now. Um, there's a lot of fire. Let's mind control that fella. The enemy ship appears to be powering up its FTL. Wideband broadcasts on black market channels. You doubt 
they would turn away any business, regardless of allegiances. And it seems that they wouldn't, as they uh, happily take our business here. So, we have some choices to make. First of all, we're going to sell off our distraction buoys because we've gotten all the use out of them that we possibly can. Um, and we'll uh, get a few extra scrap to maybe spend on something else. Now, we don't really have the uh, funds for any of these. I mean, we, we have the funds for all of them, but once we fix our ship, um, we're not going to. So first, let's throw some points, get us into sort of comfortable territory. And then, oh, I didn't think this through. Well, it's okay. Um, yeah, let's let's just finish repairing ourselves and, and, and move on. Um, we can use any additional scrap we get by, you know, upgrading our systems and, and reactor and such. But let's uh, let's move on. A distress beacon. Let's see if we can help out. Once you arrive at the location of the distress, call a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FDL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Uh, happily. We'll lead them to their destination. Take this bit of scrap as a down payment. Uh, we'll use your jump signatures to follow you. You're really helping us out here. Upon examining your map, you realize you just won't have time and need to get to the Federation base. You'll leave the quest for another day. Uh, well, I feel sad about taking their down payment, but, uh, you know, we needed it pretty badly, unfortunately. start heading to the exit. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. They are powering up their FDL. If they get away, they will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. So, first off, let's mind control somebody and let's target this person in the engines. So I'll throw a burst laser and the shield, and then a couple of basic lasers at the engines. Which might not be quite enough, we'll see. We gotta keep up the, uh, the damage on it. There we go, that's pretty good. Except now this uh, fella is repairing an aura, he's down there. Let's throw a laser there, a couple lasers at the shields, and that should be enough to take down the ship. Their ship breaks apart and you are relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. If we do have an opportunity to bump into another shop, that would be pretty nice, but you might be asking a lot. Uh, sadly, we're going to have to leave this sector somewhat early, looks like. This is a tough choice, this seems risky. I'm... Oh boy. It looks like this beacon won't be covered up, but it might just barely be outside the radius. I'm gonna risk it. We'll see what happens. You arrive in an asteroid belt to discover that a rebel automated scout has been stationed here. Prepare for a fight. And a uh, fight is gonna be because it has four shielding. And wow, we are getting slammed here. So, oh boy, let's, we need to get the 
shields down. That's gotta be sort of priority. What about Uno, I think? Oh boy, this is going very bad, isn't it? Very bad, very quick. You get yourself over there, I'll put out the fire. folks. Things got very bad very quick. There's a fight at this new location. We are screwed. There are another. No uh, there are no other ships near this beacon. In order for you to detect a small communication relay, you tap into it without a problem. There is no encryption. Most of the chatter revolves around troop and fleet movements. Not particularly interesting. Well, now we have some uh, serious problems to deal with. So first, we got to get these doors. Functioning again so that we can vent the oxygen from these rooms and get it all fixed up. Then we gotta go get our O2 online quickly. And then we need to get some folks into the med bay to repair that. And get our mind control repaired as well. Oh my friends, that was a tough battle and I hate to say it but I think the uh, the final battle that we are heading towards might, uh, you know, that may have been a taste of things to come. Without shield penetration we, we really did need to get a missile weapon at some point. Um, but, again, as long as we live, hope is not dead, so. Let's jump to the exit and see what happens. You spot a small rebel ship. Let's demand the surrender of their goods. Because, uh, yeah, you know, the thing that we need most right now is, um, Another fight. Oh, a lot of misses. Just kind of focusing fire on this uh, engine, hoping to do enough to to stop it. But it 
it's not the most hopeful thing right now. close to the Federation base. Your access codes get you past initial security and an officer sets up a direct fee to the Federation base's war room. Admiral Tully speaks first, saying, What is the meaning of this? Who are you? Let me explain our mission. Your explanation is met with murmurs of cynicism and disbelief among the officers. General Terzil of the NG Brigade speaks up. Intel suggests potential counter to rebel technology. Risk all or save none. Explain the weakness of the enemy fleet, the rebel flagship. Tully responds, It's settled. The rebels will be here in a matter of moments. We will do what we can to hold off their warships, but you must succeed in destroying this flagship. Your current outpost can provide some repairs and fuel, and the other repair stations can provide aid as well. Good luck. You may receive ten fuel and some repairs. And thankfully, there's a store just here. Um, so, we need repairs desperately, but we also need to go to the store, so we'll go there. A ship engineer has set up a small shop here. a missile system installed. Although another burst laser would do wonders for us as well. Oh, this is tough. This is tough. The... It's either go for the missiles, which can pierce the shields, or go for the burst laser, which will help us break through the shields. I think we're gonna go all in on the lasers. Um, they can't be stopped by drone defenses, so that's pretty good. Uh, it's a tough choice, but we're gonna go with this. And we'll sell off a basic laser. Pop in our next burst laser. And now the uh, tough thing here is that basically what I've done there is I've sacrificed some of our hull um, integrity because Oh, well, we don't even have enough money, so that's tough. Um, we're in a sticky situation. I'm essentially gambling on getting uh, enough scrap to sort of scrape through this. So what we'll do is we'll fix some damage. And then we will jump, and we're going to go down here and try to get to these repair stations. So it goes, 
I suppose. Um, let's try to get through it again. Wow. This is going pretty poorly for us, I must say. Fortunately, the ship has no particularly uh, powerful attacks against us. So, I need to make sure that I'm not miscalculating this four blasts plus the super shield that keeps on getting formed um, would make five each burst laser puts out three so that's six plus our basic is seven so we should be able to get through if we just get a little bit of luck with uh, our aim If I prevent them from um, evading, that'll help. Still nothing. Oh boy. I feel like we should have broken through by now. In my mind about something here. Okay, there we it, 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 That definitely could have hit that time, so. Thankfully, because their guns are, are uh, mildly ineffective against ours, we can afford to dither around here for a bit. Here we go, this may be the turning point. Although they have two people repairing right now, so. Let's do that. Got some good things going here. Nice. All right, we're getting through the shields. All right, we're getting through them. There we go. That's great. this uh, super laser of theirs, or super shield. I'm not sure we can engineer this, but if we could get this, uh, this fella here to die. Oh, well, the ship has gone down. There's no time to salvage all of the wreck. The fleet is still nearby. Get ready to jump. So we shall directly to this repair station here. Chatter on the comm suggests the nearby Federation base is outfitted with a repair station. When you forward your mission priority, they quickly help repair your ship and give you some supplies. Nine hull points repaired, plus five fuel, four missiles, five drone parts, and 26 scrap. Which will give us enough scrap to upgrade our uh, weapon system. And that means now that when we power it up again, 
let's say by pulling power from our med bay, we will have all of our lasers uh, able to be activated. Just, uh, you know, nothing to sneeze at. So, let's go take on the Rebel flagship. This is uh, not going to be an easy task, but this is what it's all been about. So, let's try it. This is it, the Rebel Flagship. If you are able to destroy this monstrosity, the Federation fleet will have a chance of surviving. There's no turning back. Indeed, there isn't. So, um, immediately, the Flagship is going to cloak. And thankfully, it sent a hacking device at our med bay, which is, uh, in the grand scheme of things, not a terrible system to have hacked. And now we have all, all this going on, so... Um, let's go ahead and have this guy start targeting the, uh, well, oh boy, there's a lot of things we gotta do damage to. Let's focus fire on the shields. We got a bunch of them. We have a breach uh, in our door down here. Not a big problem. We can live with that. Oh boy, the shields are getting repaired pretty quickly. That's not great. Let's get another volley fired out. Oh man, and they threw up their cloaking right as we did. That was a uh, unfortunate happen happenstance. Um, so they're shields are fully repaired. That's a tough go of it for us. Let's launch another volley and hope it sticks this time. Oh, nice hit. Okay, so this gun over here that shoots three missiles, that's what we really need to be worried about. Because that will do some damage to us. And started off with some rudeness there. So I foolishly pulled power from our guns there for a minute by moving my Zoltan, but we don't have time to let it charge up again. Oh, and the cloaking. Man, the cloaking. Rough. So it goes, okay. The doors are hacked, that's why we can't vent it. Ooh. This is a tough situation, isn't it? Okay. Well, we're just gonna have to deal with that, I suppose. Alright, we need to distract these folks, repair. Shield, so we're gonna set that up there. We have another fire breaking out. Um, just you know, focus on what we can do here, which is firing another volley in the shield and trying to take them down. There we go. That's pretty good. Shields are down. So, now I think we have a number of priorities. First, we need to try to disable this, uh, this old pod. Uh, we need to stall them repairing the shields. And we need to try to hurt the cloaking. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, close up all the doors. Let oxygen start uh, refilling the ship. And then, oh, thank goodness, all of those missed. Um, Oh, and the, uh, the cloaking, the, right, a 
also I was ready to go quilt that stuff. Okay, nothing for it, but let's distract them repairing the shields. Oh, thank goodness, every time that those volley of missiles just cruise on by, I thank my lucky stars. Oh, the fire going, that's a great help. Um, but the ship is just about down, and we got it. Or did we? Just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FDL jump. You've got to keep up the assault. Three fuel, a drone part, and twenty uh, scrap is what we quickly salvage from the pieces. Um, and we do have to keep up our assault, but before we do that, let's do some to our ship. Get everybody healed up and ready to go for another round with this monstrosity of a ship. And then we can, uh, Send everybody back to their uh, standard positions and consider what to do with this scrap because we could um, throw it in a couple places. We could upgrade one of these uh, cheaper systems. We could get another power bar. We could upgrade some subsystems. And uh, at the moment, none of that is particularly necessary. Um, beyond the fact of getting a little more comfortable. For instance, if I upgrade the O2, it's less likely to be destroyed, which is certainly an appealing idea, uh, because getting a, a bad position with oxygen in the ship can really take us down quick. So um, let's see what the uh, flagship is running off to. It's running straight to the, uh, to the Federation base. And if we let it hang out there, it's going to take it out. Um, and we can see that the flagship will destroy the Federation base if it spends three consecutive turns there, so if we let it go there, we pop down to this repair station. That's one turn. We pop back up, and then we pop to the base. Um, I'm not sure how the game... I haven't actually run into that situation of arriving there on the third turn. So I'm not entirely sure how it works. I think we probably shouldn't take the risk of going for the repair station for the extra scrap. Let's just upgrade our O2 system for a bit of extra security and then follow the ship. You chase down the flagship and discover it is heavily damaged from a previous fight. The scans indicate that it has redirected considerable power to its drones. Get ready for a fight. And a fight it will be indeed. Drones are not a friend of mine. But fortunately, the ship, as you can see, has uh, lost its um, quirky capability. Now, we have a problem here in that a, uh, uh, a border drone has arrived on our ship and is going to be trying to uh, cause trouble. So we'll send some reinforcements into that room to deal with it. sensors. Alright, that's fine. Um, let's launch a volley of lasers. Good, we got some damage in there. That's pretty good. Now Vincent can get back to sensors. Let's stop them repairing that. some problems here, so. First off, uh, let's get oxygen flowing a bit quicker because these folks here need it pretty bad. Second, let's throw a volley of lasers into their shields. You need to go.
go get some health. You do as well, and as a matter of fact, in fact, all of you do. Um, Vincent needs to go help repair this breach. repairs moving. Oh, are you kidding me? Another drone has arrived. That's terrible. Okay, we need to focus fire on these drones. Oh boy, the missile's coming again. Love to see that. So, as you can see, I'm uh, stressing out a bit. For good reason, there's a bit of chaos happening. But, we'll make do. We will make do. We can let loose another volley of their drones. on us. Um, let's get another volley going. Um, let's fire at this missile this time. There we go. Um, just as you finally gain the upper hand, it finds a way to make an FDL jump. You've got to keep up the assault. My friends, we are kind of on our last leg here. This is a concerning place to be. But there's nothing for it but to just uh, keep pressing on, so that is what we shall do. We also have people here struggling greatly with their oxygen. up the ship's doors. People are out of here seven. Okay. Go get yourself some healing. You go repair things. Oh, we can't look at the, the jump map at the moment. Alright, send everybody back to their positions. And... Uh, we have no more place to repair, so... Um, I hate to say it, but uh, I don't think there's anything we can do to fix ourselves up before this next, uh, this next fight. Good. Jump here, jump there, jump to the store. But I don't know. Uh, I think the flagship might have something to say about that. This is pretty rough. I'm not gonna lie because uh, those missile, those missiles might be enough to take us down. Grab another power bar. Nothing really. To do. And with that, I think um, it's time to make the jump. We'll do the best we can and fight for the Federation. 
I'm not certain how it's able to keep fighting with the amount of damage it has sustained. It looks like it's transferred power to the teleporter as well as some kind of super weapon. Be prepared. This is it. Um, we don't have time for, uh, somebody fighting us like this, so let's... Undo that, um... through this super shield as quickly as possible. Oh boy. Oh thank goodness all of them missed. That's a huge lesson. Every single missile that misses us is really like a, it saves the day, you know. to do but hope at this point oh man and uh, with that the red tail is destroyed one last explosion marks your fate as your ship is torn apart yeah I um man I, I gotta say I, I thought we were just about to be blessed with a victory on um, on our very first uh, run of this or on video anyways um this particular run of the game might not have shown it because it went fairly well overall but this game can be brutal um both with the rng um well mainly with the rng actually that's basically all it is um so honestly to even make it to this fight and then to get to the final stage of the boss was uh, pretty lucky uh but i think um I think I've decided that uh, we'll have to play this again. Um, we can't uh, can't move on until we've at least beaten the boss once. So we'll be returning to FDL, perhaps with uh, most likely with a different ship, and try a different uh, strategy, different approach, and we can um, come up with a different scenario for our crew. Um, because tragically, the tale of uh, Captain Zemo um, and the previous captain. Uh, uh, Burko, um, their noble crew has come to an end, uh, but perhaps our sacrifice was not in vain as we have weakened the flagship so significantly that uh, perhaps the Federation ships will be able to finish it off and um, the crew of the Red Tail will uh, be memorialized for years to come for giving their lives for such a cause. But from our perspective at least, the story has come to an end. So, return to the hangar and appreciate the um, nice, soothing main theme of uh, FDL. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our playthrough of FDL. Um, we'll be doing it again. Just have to uh, pick the next ship. Um, what do you think? Might be fun to do a mantis, a mantis ship, uh, 
use teleporters a lot and get up close and personal with the enemy crews. But, who knows? I haven't decided. Um, anyway, until next time, I hope everything's going well for you. And, uh, thanks for watching.